एल्डोल कंडेंसेशन इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल टीच यू टू इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स फर्स्टली आई विल टीच यू द कम्प्लीट कंसेप्ट ऑफ एल्डोल कंडेंसेशन सेकेंडली आई विल टीच यू द सुपर इजी ट्रिक ऑफ एल्डोल कंडेंसेशन सो वॉच दिस लेक्चर टिल द एंड एंड यू विल लर्न समथिंग ऑसम फर्स्टली लेट मी टीच यू सम इम्पॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट रिलेटेड टू एल्डोल कंडेंसेशन लाइक अल्फा हाइड्रोजन डायल्यूट सोडियम हाइड्रो ऑक्साइड एंड मीनिंग ऑफ कंडेंसेशन वेल कंसिडर दिस ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड वी नो दैट दिस इज द फंक्शनल ग्रुप ऑफ एल डी हाइड वी कॉल इट मैन ग्रुप नो दिस इज द फर्स्ट कार्बन अटैच टू द मैन ग्रुप वी कॉल इट अल्फा कार्बन द हाइड्रोजन एटम्स विद द अल्फा कार्बन आर कॉल्ड अल्फा हाइड्रोजन सेकेंडली दिस इज द सेकेंड कार्बन अटैच टू द मैन ग्रुप we call it beta carbon the hydrogen atoms with the beta carbon are called beta hydrogens so remember alpha hydrogen and beta hydrogen on the other hand dilute sodium hydroxide means that it also contain water we know that water has positive hydrogen ions and negative hydrogen ions lastly condensation mean the removal of water usually we heat the reactants in order to remove water molecule from it thus remember these important concepts now what is aldol condensation well in this part of the lecture i will teach you the mechanism of aldol condensation firstly i will teach you formation of aldol and then i will teach you aldol condensation consider this aldehyde remember that in aldol condensation we take two molecules so i place here two we can see that this is main group and this is alpha hydrogen i take this one aldehyde and write it here i write here one alpha hydrogen now i add dilute sodium hydroxide to it we already learned that dilute sodium hydroxide contains water now this is hydroxide ion which has negative charge here the electrons will shift towards carbon and positive charge will appear on this alpha hydrogen we know that negative charge and positive charge love each other so they react together to form a water molecule i get cho and ch2 this carbon has negative charge now i take the second molecule of aldehyde i write it here we know that oxygen is highly electronegative it will attract the sheared pair of electron hence partially positive charge appear on this carbon and partially negative charge appear on this oxygen now this negative carbon will attack on this positive carbon i take this cho i write it here i take this ch2 i write it here i take this coh i attach it to this carbon i take this ch3 i write it here we can see that this oxygen has negative charge we have to neutralize this negative charge of oxygen we know that there is already water present hence this negative oxygen will attack on this positive hydrogen hence i write this molecule as it is i attach hydrogen to this oxygen now listen carefully This molecule contains two functional groups. This OH are alcohol group. Secondly, this CHO are aldehyde group. For aldehyde group, I write ald. For alcohol group, I write ol. So we get aldol. Therefore, we call this molecule as aldol because it contains aldehyde group and alcohol group. Now I will teach you aldol condensation. we know that aldol condensation is the removal of water molecule from the aldol i write here this aldol we provide some sort of heat to it we can see that this cho is the main group this is alpha carbon this is beta carbon now listen carefully the alpha carbon will lose hydrogen and the beta carbon will lose oh let me repeat it the alpha carbon will lose hydrogen and the beta carbon will lose oh hence i write here h2o 
and I write this remaining molecule. Alpha carbon and beta carbon has lost one species each. Here, double bond is formed between them. Now, this molecule contains double bond. We write here En. Secondly, it contains aldehyde group. I write here Al. Hence, we get Nl. Remember this important MCQs. After aldol condensation, we get dash RNL. So, this is Nl molecule. Here, let me teach you an important question. Why double bond is formed at alpha carbon? Can you guess the answer? Well, it is because double bond is more stable at alpha carbon. Let me repeat it. Double bond is more stable at alpha carbon. Hence, it is therefore formed at alpha carbon. So, note it down all these important concepts. Now, in the last part, I will teach you the super easy trick to remember aldol condensation. Consider this conversion reaction. We can see that this is aldehyde and this reaction is aldol condensation. Now, I write the second aldehyde below the first aldehyde. We know that Aldol condensation is the removal of water molecule. Now listen carefully. This alpha carbon will lose two hydrogen atoms and from this molecule, this oxygen is removed. Let me repeat it. This alpha carbon will lose two hydrogen atoms and from this molecule, this oxygen is removed. Hence, I take this COH, I write it here. This alpha carbon has lost two hydrogen atoms. I write only CH. I take this CH and double bond. I attach it to this carbon. I take this CH3 and I write it here. Lastly, I write H2O. Hence, this is the aldol condensation. Finally, consider this conversion reaction. Pause the video and try to solve it using the trick. Well, this is the ketone. I write the same ketone below it. We know that this carbon loses two hydrogen and this molecule loses this oxygen. I write the molecule CH3 single bond C double bond O CH and I attach this molecule to it. C double bond, this CH3 is bonded to this carbon and this CH3 is also bonded to this carbon. Hence, this is the aldol condensation of ketone. Therefore, using this trick, we can easily write the aldol conversion reactions. I hope that you have learned all these important concepts.